Welcome to Endless Learning Training Series The Membrane-Based Desalination Technology. In this video we will study about Membrane Pore Size Why SWRO Membrane Pore Size is Important Factor Which L Damage SHRO Membrane Pore Size We will study about Membrane Pore Size why SWRO membrane pore size is important? What all factor will damage SWRO membrane pore size? Analysis of RO membrane pore size. How to maintain SWRO membrane pore size? How to prevent damage to the SWRO membrane? Membrane pore size. Membrane pore size refers to the size of the pores in the membrane, which can range from nanometers to micrometers in size. The pore size of the membrane determines what types of contaminants can be removed from the feed water. In SWRO systems, membranes typically have a pore size of around 0.1 nanometers, which allows for the removal of dissolved salts and other small contaminants while allowing water molecules to pass through. Membrane pore size also affects the resistance of the membrane to fouling and scaling, with smaller pore sizes generally being more susceptible to fouling. The size of the pores in the membrane determines which molecules can pass through, if the membrane pores become clogged or damaged, the selective permeation will be compromised, leading to reduced water flux and salt rejection. It is important to maintain the integrity of the membrane pores to ensure the long-term performance of the SWRO system. Why SWRO membrane pore size is important? The pore size of RO membranes is an important factor because it determines the level of filtration or separation that the membrane can achieve. RO membranes have a very small pore size, typically in the range of 0.1 to 1 nanometers, which is much smaller than the pore sizes of other types of membranes used for water treatment such as microfiltration or ultrafiltration membranes. The small pore size of RO membranes enables them to remove dissolved salts and other contaminants from water through a process of molecular separation. Water molecules are able to pass through the membrane, while the larger molecules of salts and other contaminants are rejected. This allows RO membranes to achieve a high level of salt rejection, typically greater than 95%. Pore size of RO membranes can also impact the water permeability of the membrane, which refers to the rate at which water can pass through the membrane. A smaller pore size can result in lower water permeability, which can impact the overall performance of the RO system. Pore size is an important factor to consider when selecting a membrane for a given application, as it can impact the level of separation achieved, the salt rejection and water permeability of the membrane, and the overall performance of the RO system. What all factor will damage SWRO membrane pore size? Several factors can damage the SWRO membrane and affect pore size, including 1. Exposure to high temperatures. High temperatures can cause the membrane to expand, leading to larger pore sizes which can result in reduced salt rejection and decreased permeate quality. 2. Exposure to extreme pH levels. Extremely high or low pH levels can damage the membrane, leading to changes in pore size and reduced performance. 3. Exposure to chemicals. 
exposure to certain chemicals, such as chlorine, hydrogen peroxide, and other oxidants, can cause damage to the membrane, leading to changes in pore size and reduced performance. Fouling, buildup of organic and inorganic substances on the surface of the membrane can also affect pore size and reduce membrane performance. 5. Mechanical damage, physical damage to the membrane, such as cracks, scratches, or tears, can also affect pore size and reduce membrane performance. Analysis of RO membrane pore size by positron annihilation lifetime spectroscopy, PALS, Positron annihilation lifetime spectroscopy is a measurement method for sub-NM scale pore size distribution of polymer, inorganic etc. Positron beam equipment is useful for thin films. Principle of PALS Positrons are subatomic particles found in the nucleus of an atom. They have the same mass as the electrons, but opposite charge which consider them as their antimatter counterparticles. The positrons have relatively short lifetimes, annihilating in presence of electrons where gamma rays are formed. How to maintain SWRO membrane pore size? To maintain the pore size of SWRO, spiral wound reverse osmosis, membranes, it is important to follow good maintenance practices. 1. Pretreatment. Proper pretreatment of the feed water is essential to protect the membrane from fouling and scaling. This includes the use of filters and chemical dosing to remove suspended solids, dissolved solids, and microorganisms from the feed water. 2. Regular cleaning. SWRO membranes can become fouled or scaled over time, which can lead to a decrease in the pore size of the membrane. Regular cleaning of the membranes is necessary to remove these contaminants and restore the performance of the membrane. Cleaning can be done using various methods, including backwashing, chemical cleaning, and mechanical cleaning. Proper storage. If SWRO membranes are not used for an extended period, they should be stored properly to prevent damage to the membrane material. This includes storing the membranes in a cool, dry place and protecting them from exposure to sunlight and chemicals. 4. Monitoring Performance Regular monitoring of the performance of the SWRO system is essential to detect any changes in the pore size of the membrane and to identify any potential issues that may impact the performance of the system. This can be done through regular analysis of the feed water and permeate water quality as well as through visual inspections of the membrane elements. By following these steps, it is possible to maintain the pore size of SWRO membranes and ensure that the system is operating at peak performance. To prevent damage to the SWRO membrane, it is important to monitor and control the factors that can affect pore size through proper maintenance, cleaning, and operation of the RO system. Regular cleaning and replacement of the membrane, monitoring of pH levels, and avoiding exposure to chemicals that can damage the membrane can help to maintain membrane performance and prolong membrane life. Proper pretreatment of the feed water can also help to reduce fouling and maintain membrane performance. Thank you for watching this video.